very happy to be here with you today because I would like to talk a little bit about uh, a very important t uh, topic that concerns not just the specialists but all of us because everybody think we use internet at home and we have our router to provide our Wi-Fi at home so I think it concerns all of us. Uh, this is a campaign that uh, Free Soft, that the Free Soft uh, Foundation Europe has been conducted for a, a long time, and I've been involved with that since the beginning of this year, and I think that is very important. Uh, well, for a number of reasons, uh, as Matthias already said, uh, I'm Lucas Lasot. I'm part of the legal team. If you have some questions, you feel free to to write me or talk to me here. Uh, uh, as I said, I like to talk to people, so yeah. Um, so, uh, our presentation will be why router freedom is important. First, we needed to, to know what is router freedom and the panorama, uh, the legal and political panorama in Europe and how to make a stand for router freedom. Okay, so we recognize the problem, but we need to do something against it. So, uh, yeah, let's see why router freedom is very important for each one of us. Uh, Yes, router freedom basically is the right that each one of us have to, to choose our own equipment. So uh, if you want to buy and to use our equipment that has free software inside of it, we have this right. And uh, the problem is that some uh, internet service providers in Europe, they don't comply with this right. They put uh, into the market their own uh, routers, with some, sometimes with proprietary software inside of it, and uh, they don't allow the customers by contract to, to use another device, another equipment. So our idea, our stand is to uh, enforce the right of people to, ha to choose their own equipment. And the grounds and uh, the reasons for that uh, are uh, well, are pretty convincing. I put just four here, but there are more. This is the most important. So the first one is the freedom of choice. Um, this is the basic thing that uh, everyone has to choose their own equipment. However, uh, think about that. Um, the router, although it is usually it's very hidden inside your house and nobody play, uh, takes a lot of attention to this uh, small piece of equipment, but it's extremely important because all our data, internet data, backups, uh, our business interaction go through uh, the router. So if our router is not um, with our free software, our digital sovereignty, as Alex mentioned uh, before, uh, it's not secure. So uh, the router has a very important uh, role, uh, having the control over our router has a very important role to uh, keep our digital sovereignty. So uh, the third uh, argument is free competitions and compatibility. This is not in an individual level, but this is in a social level, so this is a little bit higher. So uh, having a lot of uh, router providers, router manufacturers, this is good for the price, for uh, the marketing interaction. So this is also very important. And of course, the compatibility. Since you have the right to choose your own equipment, uh, you can use uh, the equipment that best suits you. And of course, uh, this helps uh, also uh, with even the environment uh, arguments and so on. Um, the security issues is very clear because when you know what is inside your rotor, you know how to better uh, implement the security measures in order to protect your, uh, uh, your information and your data. Uh, uh, I, I would like to to tell you today that uh, router freedom, uh, it's not an abstract idea for the future. It's in fact a right that has, has been protected by European uh, regulations since 2015. In Germany, uh, FSFE had a, a very nice job. I wasn't there, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I knew uh, and I've been working with the results of, uh, of this effort uh, in order to implement the European regulations in Germany, because since 2015, uh, the net neutrality directive already established in the article number three that everybody has the right to choose the equip equipment of their choice. Um, however, this general uh, regulations must be internalized in the countries. And sometimes the, there are some problems and there are some interpretations uh, about that. 
in 2018, there is a new, um, a, a new regulation saying that the, all the definitions that uh, the countries are implemented on their internal market must comply with the net neutrality directive. And they said that the national regulatory agen agencies must define the, some uh, positions in order to comply with that. Um, this 2018 uh, regulation uh, established that BEREC, the, the Board of Electronic Regulators in Europe, uh, should issue some guidelines in order to uh, um, establish all the parameters that the national regulatory agencies should adopt in order to comply with the net neutrality directive. However, although it, it looks very nice, there is some problems. And as, as Matthias said in, in the beginning of our, uh, of our meeting today, uh, some internet service providers are raising some discussions in order to not comply, but in order to do something different uh, in the um, interpretation of these European uh, 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 regulations. So, what is happening today in Europe. Today, uh, there is a discussion about the ter network termination point. What is the termination network point? Is the discussion is that the router uh, is part of the public net communication network or it part of your own private net network uh, or the end user network. If the router is part of the public network. So it's, property, it's a piece of property from the ISP. So therefore, we have no right to choose our own router. If the router is part of our private network, so we have the right to choose it. So therefore, it's very important that the, um, uh, the uh, national uh, authorities consider that the, router is part of the private network because in that case we have the right to choose our own equipment and what is happening today so there is a lot of discussion going on saying that router is part of the public communication network right and this discussion arrived uh, uh, achieved uh, the european level and the barrack is now uh, proposing a public consultation in order to uh, uh, establish the guidelines to where to determine the, uh, uh, the network termination point. Of course, there is a very objective um, argument that saying that having the router in our private network is better because it complies to all those arguments that we uh, heard uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, it's better for security, it's better for privacy, and in, in the end, it's our right to choose our uh, own equipment. Well, uh, in Germany, uh, we did a very nice uh, um, uh, uh, job uh, in the internalization of these, uh, of these rules. So since 2016, there is a law saying that in Germany, uh, ISP must, uh, must allow the users to use their routers. It means in Germany, a router is part of our private uh, network, uh, uh, private communication network. Well, but FSFU work is about community, and of course, uh, we are very interested in other countries too. And we uh, have conducted some internal research in order to say, uh, to, to see what is the panorama, what is the legal and the political uh, uh, state of the art in Europe to see. Uh, users and consumers in other countries, they have the right to choose their own equipment. And what, what is going on? Well, uh, however, um, we, and we need your help. We need the help of the community to refine the data that we collected. Um, and how we did that? Well, uh, it's very important for us that uh, we, we receive the feedback from the community, but also to to hear that you are also participating in order to defend this very important right to, uh, to choose in your own equipment. So, we have prepared a wiki um, 
where we condensate arguments, procedures in order to talk to the national uh, regulatory agencies in order to erase uh, uh, this topic among your national communities and your national uh, authorities. Please, uh, if you have the time, uh, check our website. This is the, the link. And of course, we have the results of this research that we conducted. And feel free to, do, to talk to us and say, look, in, our, in my country, the, 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 the situation is not like this. Uh, uh, we have the right, or in fact, we don't have the right. So how we can do that? So in the week, there's a lot of material and it's based in our experience in Germany. So uh, what I can say that uh, it works <laughs> and uh, we can make a stand for uh, router freedom. So uh, this is uh, our short, uh, our, my short presentation about this very important talk. And I'm very glad uh, if we can talk uh, later more about it. Thank you very much.